Hi YouTube. I hope you're doing okay. I'm so so not too bad. Um I've been watching Jason from Archaics. I'm gonna leave a link. He's got a three part thing about the deception in the scriptures. And um also I've got a video the difference between um Christianity, the Torah, and the Bible, and the Book of Moses being what Judaism, um, the some Jews follow that text, and the differences, and if you know the Book of Moses, and the commandments and things that were written in there, it's, um, then too with Jesus being not not he didn't speak Hebrew he was from Galilee and the Assyrian languages and the Greek and the differences and um that's why well anyway if I, I'll, I'll leave a link to I'll put the first video and I would recommend watching all three of them it, there's so much information He's got graphics he shows and very little of his personal, emotional outlook on anything. And that's a good way to approach any investigation in history, in life, and science, whatever we're learning about. Or it may, in, like Jason's channel, encompass the whole thing. And um, I once again could have never although I know a lot of what he's talking about or all of it I have some different um, points of view on different things that he may or may not it may may occur to him when he gets older you never know the thing that's really unique about this man is he was incarcerated he's a felon he just so happened to be incarcerated with the greatest libraries that were hidden from mankind behind the confines of that prison. He's got a rather rough voice. He also has been um, strangled, so it isn't uh, exactly how he should sound. Um, he's a really nice guy, though. Uh, you know, so he's not, it's not like he's gruff and meaning to be mean, but he's very professional with his, um, he's a bulldog when it comes to history and words and meanings and texts. And like I say, there are some of his viewpoints. I don't personally share it. So when you're listening to something, you know, take take what resonates with you and leave the rest out you know the thing is um the the um the reason i'm recommending them is because there's some people in particular i know will never learn as much from him the way that God would want us to learn it. That's, I'm almost convinced. And if you're wasting your time with people that are giving you pieces of the puzzle instead of the whole puzzle, then, and he's not asking for, for anything from anybody. He's written a book and he's, um, his composition, it's, uh, um, I haven't seen it but I could just imagine because the information that he puts out there free of charge is, um, it, he said that he would challenge anybody that he's the most um, well-learned, well-read person. And I would say I might agree. And that? That's, that's a lot for me to say because I know I've had my hands on some books 
that other people really very few have even ever looked at, let alone touched. So, and that's the truth. So, um, for him to have these, and he can send information from other people too. It's not like, but his journey started um, there. And instead of um, wallowing in self-pity, he took, um, I think he was five years and read. And yes, he did. Whoa. And a lot of us have done like that too. See, my childhood was like a prison, and I had very little other entertainment when I um, really started reading. There was hardly any stopping me, you know, nine or ten, but twelve. And then in between twelve and fifteen, the amount of books I just read in that amount of time was super incredible you know I'm talking like five six a week big it didn't matter what the subject was pertaining to our world and very little of it was um, something not like like nonfiction I read some nonfiction like in a, oh I would say 11 and 12 10 11 and 12 like Jules Verne and, um, you know, that type of thing. But, um, and even Moby Dick, that's uh, uh, fiction. But, you know, novels like that, literary novels that are pretty deep for a kid, you know. But, I mean, I was, I was also, um, I had my b biblical studies you know, along with all of that, too, plus um, all different, I mean, the difference in, in words and my training with my vocabulary was um, really something. And in our school, we didn't leave any country, just like the United States of America, untouched in our studies their dance, their culture, their foods, I mean, everything. We covered everything everywhere, you know? So um, if I recommend somebody and say that I'm sure I know some people that can learn something there, you can believe that's true, <laughs> you know? So I'll leave a link to... Um, He's got those three videos in with some other ones I've been listening to, and I listen to his current things. I just ran across them about, oh, three, four weeks ago now, and I'm, I'm like I say, up to his current things going back, and he's got a website too. But And there might be an angle to it, you know, just like with anybody. But I'm just saying within... Um, this world and the amount of information on different subjects um, and ones in particular, things pertaining to the world, just like I love to do. And this guy is so thorough and in-depth in, say, a 50-minute video. You have gathered so much information just one video would probably be enough to get you thinking for a year, you know, because I've been there. I really do know. It's like, like if something, if you learned something with definitive proof that you thought was something else, you'd be like, holy shit. And the actuality of it all, of those stupid things that you would read and people said that you were supposed to feel like this, but wasn't really like the depth of your soul you know he's not trying to take anybody away from god and i don't do that either i would um definitely be after somebody in a big way if i found that they were misleading people i would verbally chop their head off make a video and put their name on it i'm good like that that's just the way it is I mean, if you're truly deceiving somebody 
And that's your intent? Yeah. Well, you're no friend of mine. You know? Like I said, I do believe uh, the best people in the world are coming together on YouTube. You know, I really do. Our communities that um, we're so scattered all over the place, you know. Some closer than others in the world, but yeah. But yes. <laughs> then there was some other video I was watching. That, oh, that reminds me too that Frank Shot Pearson had an interesting concept. He called them the unholy trinity was um, Obama, Biden, and uh, Swab, Claus Swab. I thought that was kind of humorous, you know. So, but if it was a man, a woman, and a baby, and it was on the evil side, that would be the same simulation of, of what I believe to be in this world. And that's the number six, three good, three bad, and the Father's spirit within all of them. So seven in total, <laughs> you know, and all their kids, you know. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know for sure. Do you? Tell me something. Tell me something I don't know. That's cool. I love to learn, <laughs> you know. Yeah, it's been been some rough times. I but I've just kept busy. Like last night, I made um, uh, honey ginger chicken and some ramen noodles with just a little bit of the seasoning on it. So, um, yeah, that was good because I wanted the chicken for a pasta chicken pasta salad I made today for later. So. I just, that's like one of my favorite things. <laughs> I make the pasta and put, like I put um, uh, purple onion in there and um, celery and the chicken and rigatonis and made my dressing, you know, that I want my, the flavors on the noodles were a little ranch and some cream and some mayo and a little horseradish mustard and a little bit of crystal hot sauce so there's no salt and pepper in it but it will have a little bit of heat and lower in sodium so if we want to and then lettuce on top so then if um we want uh, a little salt and pepper on it usually is good or Doug will put more crystal on it but yeah it should be pretty good That's what's for supper. <laughs> and my kitties could have it too. They can't have sugar, but they can have honey and they can have garlic. And um, they can't have onions though, so they can't have any what's for supper tonight. But they had supper with us last night and they loved it. <laughs> so they had their kitty food too. And I usually either have milk or cheese and, of course, fresh water. I don't just feed my animals once a day. I have their food there for them, and I teach them when they're little not to pig out so they don't. I talk to them, you know, and train them, and then they learn, <laughs> you know. So, I don't know. Some people have problems with I don't really, <laughs> you know. And they really only eat what they need, you know. They become, and then you just, it's in their dish. It's not a, like, they don't have to beg for their food. It's just available to them, like.
like anytime you want to drink a water or something to eat. And I suppose if you live in the city and you have an animal and you're worried that it's going to have blueberries if you're gone working or something, but I, I don't know. A lot of times if I had a dog, I'd take it with me because um, I was able to because that's the way I ran my life a lot of times. Or, I, or it was trained not to do anything goofy. <laughs> so Now, I've been given a couple dogs that were a little bit untrainable, but, you know. Oh, well. I saw more stuff, another report of um, transgender people in a Texas elementary school reading to the little ones. And it, the back of the guy's G-string was gone and a little one was shoving money in the G-string. I could have showed it on here, but that even that... Um, it's pretty disgusting, especially when I know kids that are going through um, trauma because of sexual deviance as we speak right now today and just personally in my life, but in this world in general because of things like this, you know, so I'm, I'm, I'm having an okay day. Like I said, it could be better, you know. And I have somebody I thought was a friend that, oh, he doesn't trust anybody. Well, if you can't trust me, you truly have emotional problems deeper than I can help you because I am such an open book. It's like, yeah, I don't do that. It's like if you, you think that I'm not the best friend a person could have, you have mental issues <laughs> you know so that's the truth that that's the way it is that's the way i am <laughs> you know i think too because um it bothers his wife that he's online and women will say well like they lo love him or something I love all my friends, and they're cute, but if they don't act cute, then they start looking kind of ugly. It's like, yeah. No, because then, you know, I guess, too, it depends on why are we making a video? Are we making a video to vent or, yes, to vlog our lives, to video log, or to give some information or some news or an education to people that are looking for truths, timelines and history and bloodlines and even how the Danes and the Parisians were like um, one blood and traveled to the America. Now this is things this Jason covers. The um, he's got it all documented. I've told you all about it for five years, and everything I've said, if you've been watching me for a long time, you'll think you knew you heard that, and he's got it, and it's not just him, his say-so or anything. This is things that um, other scholars and um, uh, anthropologists, geologists, um, uh, Scientologists and theologists and all kinds of people getting together in one agreement about different things. And this guy has got it together. If I if I find a video that something's too adverse for me, I'll point it out. Maybe even well, definitely to him I'll say, This is how I feel and maybe give him a why. Because of my education, I might know something he doesn't, you know. Or he knows things I know and he's not saying the whole thing. 
that could very well be too because you would um, make it farther in this world just covering up a little bit of stuff the most important perhaps so I'll cross that bridge when I come to that one too so that's all I can do you know I guess this way it is I can still love somebody from afar even if they're not acting lovable and if um, somebody is jealous of me it's like no you are not all that in a bag of chips and nobody you're related to is either and everybody's just as cute to me than anybody else and if you or anybody else thinks differently of me that's on you and um and i will uh not swear <laughs> so and I've been tempted to. I know Satan wants me to, but I'm not gonna. I'll keep my dignity on that one, you know. So. But I guess that's what I get for telling somebody that I love them. It's like, and I ask too, even I've asked friends that had the hots for this dude, it's like, do you pray for his wife or even think about her? When you're, I used to say, God bless you and yours, but she wasn't really and isn't really involved in everything and didn't want anything to do with it. So it's like, yeah. And, and a vibe, just a cold ass vibe that's getting passed on through my friends' videos. So it's like, because he's wanting to speak the word of God, or maybe not. I don't know. He's got a couple videos out today that I'm not going to watch because when I get my feelings hurt, you know, it's like, nah, that was unnecessary because I've, like, if you know somebody for five years and you tell them twice through that whole time that you love them, <laughs> you know, or you appreciate them or take the time or put a heart, you know, that's, um, beyond ridiculous you know so anyway because I don't even think like that you know I want friends I want real friends I don't want people that are gonna look at everybody like you're going into the meat market and picking out a special cut for yourself you know I don't operate like that you better have a special cut or I'll just cut it you know like, yeah, I, I'm into a deeper set of knowledge than, than I guess, what I, I, I expected more. I really do, <laughs> you know, because gematria is real, and when somebody has, like, a lot of matching numbers and different things, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're the exact identical person because... Christ and Satan actually have some of the same gematria numbers. So that doesn't really mean anything in that respect. But as far as being in the alignment in the geometry of the whole situation, that that does have a ripple effect in the world. So, yeah, anyway, I have to be guarded. I have to be more guarded than anybody else like that. So, it's like, and I know it. It's okay. <laughs> I know when people are trying to sway me or influence me and in what direction they want me to go and whether I should ponder something or um, be upset or whatever. I know the damn game, whatever, you know. That was one of the requiems, even when I first met Doug. I, if, I told him, if you are not truly a people person, I mean, if you know, I don't want to be around people every day. That's not what I'm talking about. But if you truly don't love other people, don't try and pretend you do, because I am the people pretending police. <laughs> you know, I don't do that that fake like 
being in front of people and being all laffy taffy taffy and then acting like somebody else type of thing. It's uh, I will not do that. <laughs> so and and you know as uh, outspoken as I am, if I don't like somebody or something, I'm going to tell them. If I love somebody or something, I'm going to tell them. And that's why I say I love you, peace and love. That's because I mean it, you know. I just don't say it. It's not something, you know, I don't even pretend it, you know. So, yeah. Um, to me, there's no sense gathering a group of people to disenchant them in after they've stood by somebody. It's like, <laughs> No, no, that's not cool at all, you know, especially when people are going through similar things and you know it and you make that apparent and um, they take time to really help you out, you know, and it's like, yeah, well, okay, yeah, that's all right. I enjoy my showers, enjoy wallowing, <laughs> you know, that's the difference. So, and yeah, I do feel better now, <laughs> if you were wondering. <laughs> so, yeah. You're probably going through that in some personal aspect. I think we all do. I've seen it. Everybody does it to everybody else. Well, not everybody. There are true victims of that, but yeah. Yeah, so it's happening all over the place. Phony ass people playing their games to get what they want to get in life, you know. And if they don't get their way, other people got to pay for it. Enough with the abusive shit. That's why I refuse to let this life make me bitter. And I'll tell you the truth. Um. Satan's designs on my kids to take their life is not a joke. And I have one that's um, really in jeopardy of that as I'm talking to you. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it did happen. But it's still not going to take my love away from God. And it isn't going to put me on my knees and make me a bitter woman at all. So... I've had a lot of loss in my life, and there's nothing that's going to make me into some demonized version of myself. Not for nobody. I'm not going to stop exposing the true truth to help everybody else make sense of this chaos they want us to be in. And that's my goals. And that's the way it is. So there's more important things in life sometimes, you know. And that is to serve God in every way that we can. And if I do hurt you, let me know. I mean, I, I don't do this pansy ass shit, so don't even go there. But I mean, if I do something out of sorts, so you think I'm wrong in some respect, let me know. Be respectful, and I'll do the same back, and then maybe I could give you the reason why or how or whatever we're both thinking, and we'll work it out, you know. I'm sure we can. So. All right, everybody, thank you for joining me. Have a good night or day, wherever you're at. I love you. <laughs> I re really, really do. Peace, everybody. Have a good night. Even to my friend that pretends, but yeah, he's your best friend. Yeah. I think I got quite a few, but I'm lucky. Thank you for being here.